back to investigate uh, Ace Attorney Chronicles Part 2. Part, um, Part 10. I have considered the defense counsel request for a submission adverse. And I have determined the, count, the court may uphold the defense right, judicial right to this proceeding. So, counsel, will you proceed with your second examination examination? I presume the jury is ready, Mr. Foreman. We are, my lord. Good. Very good. In that case, I must ask each of you to clearly, state clearly, concisely for the court. On the, the grounds which you the Guilty of the crime. Hey, random Sony gamer. Doing all right. All right. All right. Let's get going. This again. He was left behind evidence at the scene, didn't he? Those books those three books of his. If there was some novel alternative explanation in how the victim was stabbed, I might reconsider. Even if the woman was on books, it can't, can't be related to the crime if the woman was closed, can it? Deary me, it was only a little book, hardly life-threatening with a direct hit. Look, I just want to get this over with. If I bring, if I don't, if I bring home some pay tonight, I'll be a tight bit, tiny, a tiny bit in trouble. Ah, of course. Right. Come to think of it, we had a fire at the home a while ago. It gave me sne the sneezes. Okay, why is this? Yes, yeah, considerably more tangible argument from members of the jury, it seems. With one notable exception, of course. My learned student friend wasn't able to find a fault in the witness testimony. Ward must accept the fact that it was in indeed accused of fleeing the scene. More, moreover, no one else could have possibly assumed that. Well. If the eyewitnesses are correct, it would seem as a collision of a set stone. I fail to see if, how I can argue it either way. That means I'm afraid that during the examination, the examination, examination, it is essential for you to establish other tangible explanation for the facts. But how? What would we ever um, f constitute a tangible explanation here? Is it obvious? Who stabbed the woman? And how? Two details are all you need to provide. Simply give us a name and a method by the attack it was constructed. And I was thinking this might be hard. <laughs> you have to do it, otherwise this really will be where the trial ends. Uh, no pressure then. Okay, that's quite not presumable. Frimble. Prainbowl? Proceed with the cross examination. I have some your prepare console. Oh, yes, my lord. Alright, Renesaki, focus your mind now. <sighs> Clearly, the key to the summarization. <sighs> it's going to be the juror number four for the maid. Or should I say, Mrs. Garden? We may have a book to dis that disappeared from the guard's house on the evening of the incident. And the fourth book of the victim's hand. We m there must be a link to the two. Yes, we that we have to find. <laughs> Using very every technology I've learned, shot the career so far, whatever it takes. Don't forget to keep an eye on Mrs. Head and how she reacts. Even... He went to other people say. Mm. Hold it. Oh, 
know, what about the possibility the window was open? Uh, what about it? I mean, there's no reason. How can you be so sure? I see this fell. Oh, said earlier. He wonders online if it's no. If you don't, I'm fine. The cold um, indoors. No. Well, the window wasn't open. Us wanderers, wanderers, like sitting by the fire in a warm seat. How could you say the guy would say the window wasn't open, could you? It wasn't just if they would have opened it. Point <sighs> wonderful. Also, you said I have a friend with Kyle's person. Hey, how? Oh, sorry. So, uh, I need some help. Uh, it's not going to buy the other one. My little book was on fire at the time, was it not? Uh, the flames of love you have, I'll have you know. Uh, really, no such thing as loving and cranberry bomb. <sighs> Isn't it well? Don't you agree? Oh, well, like anybody kind of portrayal of the bad things, yes. But there's an argument that I'm sending up out of your misunderstanding, Miss Girl. Uh, never mind that. The point is, we're ha just having a little jovially dispute, that is. Okay. Jovel? Jovial? You mean trivial? Yeah, it's just that there was a more. Uh, Alright, well, let's see the map that. The Jord. What other one? He doesn't like turning hit, returning here at Mr. That's awesome. But most of he's used to it. What a channel so he is. He's used to it, isn't he? Hold it! You just want to get it over with. How could you sit there and say something like that and a man's speech for sale? Well, him and both me, as I, like I said before. What? I already told you, I'm a day laborer, aren't I? If I don't bring home some heat readies with me tonight, you'll find me floating down the Thames tomorrow, in the Thames tomorrow morning. What? You heard me. My misuse is it one the mess. Misses. Do you mean messes? That's about, you know, she can be a force to believe me. Another sign is a bold mortal ballista. It shows like the co the copper on the other day. Well, um, did you know? It's funny, but I can't quite remember. Sorry. It's too frightening that the thing I must have blacked out. Blacked that out. Helpful. I wonder if Mr. Um, but all right, will will ever be dragged into a thing by his car? I don't even don't even go there, son. It must be a way the dog is it's Come to think of it, it, we had a fire at home a while ago. On. Hold it! Does that have anything to do with your decision about a defense couple already in this case? Alright, why was that? You have to speak up loud. Uh, could you please tell more about the fire at fire? It was last winter, my grandchildren baked me a lovely cake on my birthday. It had, it had 70 candles. 70? Jeez, dude. Dude. Well, on top of it, it did. What a sight to behold. You put on a cake was... That's a good. Of course not. It was an angel cake. To celebrate my birthday, obviously. It seems it's a common custom here in Britain, Mr. Hardo. Anyway, I muster uh, all my puff to blow them out. Only for the blown, it must have blown the wrong somehow. The flames got all the candles all over the room. The furniture, the furniture were caught and everything went up. The whole place was filled with smoke. Definitely sounds like a devil worship to me. Ironic. <laughs> and by the sneeze. What's it mean me the cold? How did you catch the cold on fire? Oh, what a fiasco. My grandchildren blessed them through water er, and they tried to put out the flames. 
and because the whole room was filled up with smoke, of course. We had to open the win all the windows to clear. The windows? The, ba the bittering winter air over me like the devil dancing on my grave. Ooh. Yeah, I caught a terrible cold from it. It put me in the hospital for a while. I won't forget that birthday in her. Oh boy. I knew it was a. <laughs> but something about this old man's story is playing on my mind for some reason. We need to demonstrate how, who, apart from Mr. Nelson, who could have attacked me only on the street. As well as how could he, or how could she have survived that not. But once it's again, but once again, the jurors' statements are full of private personal charges. Eh, a lot seem to convince they're right, even in the official logical agreement. The contrary. I think you're going to need to put them against each other to face the accepted alternative explanation. Yes. I don't necessarily need to find a contradiction in there between us and Jessica. See if I can do. Don't point at me. I told you it wasn't me. What did you say? Speak up, lad. Speak up. Story number three. Do you see? Oh yeah, me. What? Did Did you hear stories number six about the count of birthday celebration last year? I see. He's just by the London air. He wants to open his windows in the middle of the window. Yes, of course, because it was an emergency. I mean, it's obviously the room was filled with smoke, with fire. You mad not to open the. Oh, is that? Exactly. I had a question at, all, at the incident. Three fire, there were fires at Mr. Gallup's household. I had the following say about it. The whole point, the place was filled. The whole place was filled. Oh my. Excuse me. That day. Did your husband uh, open the window? What I but, but this is well, would have been a trick to smoke after the carpet. Okay, case caught the fire day. It's just like that. It's even usable. <sighs> and if we did <sighs> Alright then yes, you're right. But there was an individual who tried to open the fire though. But which couldn't have been easy since I continue to give him a justly deserved battering. What battering? Even though your house was on fire, oh, you never stopped to throw, uh, throwing until the anger subsides. I breath would be terribly bad for nerves to do otherwise. Of course, I should have realized the significant step. That's the significant step forward. You manage the step at the so we simply must that. Objection. Oh. 
hold it! I go there. And the little the title of the book is the Lion's Pride. The same title, in fact, the book Mr. Gabbard told us what he's winning. Well, I really couldn't say. On a question, a question, did you not throw out your book? <sighs> I didn't know. Uh, I did. It was the first thing I could lay my hands on, so I heard a man. Now you come to mention it, yes. There was a rather enjoyable reading. Right. Why do you not reveal this animation to the port outset? I mean, outset. Because I wouldn't select the man I don't. At the time, you can pick up whatever lay on your hands and. Uh, I really don't. I really noticed the book oh, going. Excuse me! What is it, Missouri number five? You know something? I remember that what it was. I remember that I blocked out. Huh? It was listening to the granny, what this granny was saying, brought it all flooding back. Who are you calling granny? Oof! <laughs> I don't know. That man doesn't even flinch. Please tell me that's not because he's used to being hit all the time. It was about two weeks ago. I just got back to my room after work. Like, I put my hand in my pocket for the wages I just earned that day. I never, I, and I nearly died. There was a hole. Every, every last penny had dropped out. <clears throat> oh dear, what a disaster. You haven't heard a half of it, boy. Oh, the wife was counting on counting some tick of some chickens. I, I couldn't hardly could hardly get the word uh, out. But I told her straight. I lost the day wages, love. Next, I knew the blade was the blade was whistling past my ear, struck the wall next to me. I did about an HD. No words, just terror. Oof. <laughs> I was going to end up in the face in the muddy bank that night, I can tell you. Oh, that real disaster. I'll never use the word my lightly again. <laughs> Neither would I. At any point, I was trying to make this. When a woman loses her rags, they'll throw anything at you. Knives, hatchets, hammers, you name it. I said, I don't know what. You, hasn't, you mustn't think that all women are so toward them. <laughs> yeah, you got a point. No, no, I wasn't thinking that. Throwing household objects, people. Is, well, oh, it's so... Um, at least act with the honor, with honor, using a bow or a like, what, attack? Who are you going to attack? Never mind, anyway, this man's words could be really significant, I think. I think as well, alright, come back to the throne. 
Especially what she just said earlier. Yes. Good grief. You meant a gun. Don't contradict. Explain yourself. Juror number two. Do you find think perhaps this could be such a novel alternative? Oh my, what do you mean? Alternative explanation? How the two victims, how the victim was stabbed? What are you talking about? Are you just straight by the by the fourth book in the Lion's Pride? Bound had the scene of the crime. He originally Mrs. Gavin's room, first house. Therefore, it's equally possible the same object besides the book could have found the way to Mr. Gavin's house. Um, oh. What's that now? After all, Mrs. Gavin of oh, could have done any number of objects at a time. Isn't that right, number four? Or are you in some way? No, you. Look. I mean, can you think what? That ever since the true origins of this book came to light. Perhaps she hadn't had feelings that might be what happened. Now listen to me. Explain the defense theory. Yeah. And was it has to be the knife. Take that. Or the scarab. Yet yeah. what now? I must follow this in advance for this. But I need to cover on something else for the court. This knife. Have you ever seen this knife before? Ah! Good lord, what? That's a In the back. My lord, remember what the victim had was attacked with this argument? Mr. Garber was hurling at a window that was open, clear as well. It's a book sailed at the crime scene. You can't be serious that the book was found in the victim's grasp. Are you saying that it flew out the window across the street? Me. Even my missus hasn't got that aim like that. As I met there are many details we don't know and understand, but that's the point, precisely why. It must have. Oh, oh. That is a question, sir. Have you seen this knife before or not? Oh, ah. Uh, In other words, yes! Oh lord. I wish this. Oh boy, here we go. Ah. Yes, I know. Yes, I agree. I certainly didn't see that coming, but. I didn't think we'd be right that it was right to come to the end, so. Fine. I have to agree. But not. But I, that. Not that I think Granny did it. I mean, and yes, you know what? I'm not quite happy about this moment either. Here we go. All together, please dance. Okay. Here we go. We we did it. Okay. Okay. Here comes the objection. I have a feeling. So, result of the defense of nation. Number of juries is leading. Or to her is guilty for. Accordingly, opinion of the court divided. Oh boy, here we go. Huh. 
And I have a feeling that Von Sykes is gonna have a problem with it. Oh, then my Lord Sykes, how do you prosecute him? Well, let's proceed. He... This trial is rapidly descending into a farce. Like a poor crime. Right, a few steps are better. Enough. But what follows if I found it is it's good for nothing save the gutter. If I made my Lord Zikes. This mess has put a forward credible alternative explanation. What happened? Credible is your considered option for the defense argument is a joke. Which is barely I know I barely know how to respond, but let me start my system. Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean by that? How is my animal this time? You'd be surprised how far some people can throw. I see here. 15 yards. Around 14 meters. 14 meters. Oh, that's a little far, Ivan. And, and you're ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> yeah, but you have to be surprised. Uh, the opposite side of the road. Which one? He will love the sound of his own voice. This is Otto. Boys are pathetic, are they? Oh, there he. Uh, maybe let's pick up the battle here. My lord might be able to speak. I deserve this as assistant. You might speak for defense. Yes, go ahead. Perhaps you should maybe have make a certain idea of fantasy. But what the defense has postulated has was believable. Well, well, and not to persuade a jury. As such, the court's duty is to explore an alternative explanation, therefore, if possibly, please. Should I then? Juror number four, Miss Joan Driver, must be called to testify this minute across the state of Illinois, possibly a jury. This is highly irregular. It is unimpeded for a member of the jury to be summoned as a Objection. And... Oh boy. And unnecessary. My lord, my sakes. There's already a witness stand for those testimonies. Whose testimony is declared defense across the further. If my lord... Then the burning must have flown. Continue the exam across the very well. I have reject the defense's request. Uh, oh. 
in order the witness to stand testify again. State for the count court. Uh, the Here we go. That detail is not in the, was not in the place for a constable. Ah yes, oh, I'm sorry about that. I must have been a little dozy. <laughs> you can't excuse your sins for dozing us every time, constable. I don't think Zon Seeks realized the fact he, he, that part kind of hurt his case. I'm oh, sorry, but... What exactly... Oh, is a top oh, hinge casement window? And you... Cannot excuse for your ignorance first. Mark, my friend. Oh, of course. Sorry. I found him, Mr. Nardo. Cast your mind back to the window, Mr. Well, all right, let's try. I want to open the little air circulate inside the house. Oh, swings open. Oh, wow. I didn't think about that. They're fighting air nades. What? Eh, just stay in the metal bar. Eh, it's pretty nice opening. It's a... That's easy. Absolutely correct, so. I know the words to book. Oh, oh. hate these two. <sighs> this is happening? I haven't even started a cross-examination yet, and I've already... Oh my. I'm so if you could drag yourself out right again, and the core waits your cross-examination. <sighs> my lord. Oh good, another desperate situation. Say that for certain. Good, very good question, sir. Uh, answer is this: It's notably founding of a principle written as a reminder of the uh, police minister's one. He showed that war, didn't he? Did he? I can't remember. To patriots, uh, to patrol the street, a line a whole peace common man. It's a job all about. Uh, huh. That's why I can't stand here today beside it's a, my long suffering want and tell you uh, I've always good for his work. Oh, rubbing my retired eyes, admittedly, so. Oh, Molly, you mean, you mainly. Of course I am, darling Patricia. Ugh. Okay. I really hate these two. I'm not gonna supply. Ugh. How can you say for certain the case has nothing to do? Ah, uh, I see. Uh, so, you would have, you have said earlier, so. Uh, well, well, so could you answer the question? That was a waste of time, then. I believe so. I'll answer the full sentence. The surprising reason can be relate to this play. Yes. But before I get to that, so, just one thing. 
What else? I'd like to very much to, you know, countrymen to understand the Great Britain's in institution of Scotland Yard. I hope you'll take back some tales of London Bobby's He's upholding the guide's principles. I wasn't planning on going back just yet. I only just arrived here. So in the end, so the end, to that end, I uh, warn you, you won't be able to get through it without shedding a few tears. Thank you, I'll try. But which means do you open fully, is that correct? That's up. They're just a one a lot a lot more. You see the redirect any matches up. And therefore anything drawn out the window from inside. It's simply strike the clearly allow me Mm, yes, directly the opposite of the promise thing. I wouldn't have it hard if it was top hands casement thing before. Well, I have another question for a constable. And what would that be, so? How do you even know? Why do you have why would you have any idea? What sort of windows Mr. It, um, g um, Mr. and Mrs. Grock the house that was furnished with? Ah, uh, well, so that's very simple. You see, I helped with investigating <laughs> yesterday. Excuse me! Do you have something to add, Mrs. Barry? Um, oh, sorry. You look, well, delighted. It seems like there's a particular reason for that. Oh, I was just remembering something, remembering, that's all. Well, we were so lucky. Lucky? What do you mean? Well, of course, I feel terrible for the poor woman who was attacked. Don't under understand me, please. But we were just lucky they didn't happen on Raleigh's feet. It was so close, you see. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh yes, that street, the Briar Road, uh, that's the boundary between uh, Raleigh's Beat and the next one. Oh, isn't that right, love? Constable Bait. Eat. Eat. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, that's right. The reason I was helping the end of Their house was on a beat, so you see so. Hmm, that reason that was really cutting close to it. Constable, I wonder if you could clarify something. Mm. See? If the Gabriel's house sale is on your beat, does that mean the pavement next to it is well? Outs outside the Gabriel's house? Yes, ma'am. Payment on the side of the road of uh, the roundhouse is past my part of my beat. I see. I'm aware of that. That thing, if the woman had been attacked, it's on the other side of the road, it would have been unable to go on. Oh, we would never have gone and running out of it. But that's the life of all the after all. It's extraordinary. People are bobbies, it's tireless, working for the benefit of one nurse. Do you think? Well, it was a good lord's way of rewarding me my mother's hard work. Don't you think so, my darling? I think perhaps we should have information officially on record. Leave it to me, Mr. Nardo. Take care of me.
Uh, according to your notes, the sun has gone down already. It was dark. Oh, but Molly and I strolled along, gazing at the night sky, looking for our lucky star. Sorry? A star that will guide us to eternal happiness. Can I guide, can it guide you to answer the question? <laughs> if a flaming book had across the sky from us, it would have been lit up like a shooting star. And it would, if I had seen a shooting star, I would make a wish upon it. All the beginning of factor. I would have said that time at least. Of course, with the smog and everything, we couldn't actually see stars. In short, you aren't too trying neither to say to me as a uh, yes, uh, to be honest with you. Are you sure? Are sure it's a nice guy is starless, so hmm. The certain things are telling the truth. And then we saw the poor woman fall on the ground. We ran straight to help her. You said that you weren't went nearby to the police box to fetch the office, isn't that right? That's right. Yes. If I had been um, on Rolly's beat, I would have known exactly where it, I was going, of course. But I don't feel bad, my love. I can't. You can't expect to know the location of every police box on every beat. So Rolly told me on the way. Only I got a little lost on the way. Oh, my Patricia, darling. That's why I love you, your terrible sense of... Uh, I wouldn't call that a good feat. Oh. oh, please. I'm about to gag, please. So, I suppose I was gone for about 15 minutes. But like I said, Molly was in the act, was at the scene the whole time. Sure, nothing. Sure, nothing was disturbed. I was off duty at the time, but that's true. Bobby is never off duty, sir. Ah, point taken. I didn't take my off at crime scene at the moment. Nothing strange reported. Front stuff. Hold it! Nothing report. That's correct, Shaw. I had my eyes wide open the entire time. Never looked for a second. Distance is a safe one. 
Uh, that's a very loud mutter. I heard that. <laughs> Ooh. Dully noted, duly noted, Miss Bates. Please, I only ask you to continue. What could she possibly be on me about? Me about to say? I wonder. I know I saw it in my eyes. I never doubt. Hold it! Like nobody's questioning what you told us. I saw I did. I I saw I I did. I. Ah. Oh, very clear. You also mentioned something about having a poor sense of direction. Oh, yes, well, that's a little better than really. I was ended up on the wrong place. Uh, Excuse me! Console base? Is there a problem? Uh, 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 yeah, so, uh, no problem, so. Did your wife remark just now bring something to your mind, perhaps? Oh, uh, well, in a way, Sha. Yeah, Sha. I was just remembering that same thing happened that evening as well. Oh? You mean Miss Bryce lost her way on the night of the incident? Oh, you see, I sent her off to find the land box, police box, in the next um, beat over mine. She was gone for a bit long, so, but as I expected. I thought she'd be back in 10 minutes, but my darling was gone for a good 15. Oh, well, you're such a tease. There's a reason why I was gone, because the bouquet, silly. The bouquet. Sorry, what bouquet are you talking about? Oh, I was a present from our wedding anniversary for all, all the summer. He saved up such a farthing uh, happiness. He fell in the gutter, in the gutter while um, on his own. That's how romantic. I forgot about it all just now. Had you done? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, well, uh, yes. Well, I was just, it was just between us. No talking about it to anyone else, dear darling. You have you have to promise. Well, everybody else knows about it. So I did it say? What does that mean? What was that all about? Constable Bates will have very obviously troubled during that exchange. I'm afraid I can't offer any useful insight, Mr. Nardin. But I quite serve one thing. We have to look, ask Mr. May about the bouquet. Mr. Bate, Mr. Bate, this bouquet you mentioned, i like to add the detail to your last testimony, please. Oh, really? Yes, i love to. Hold it! And you dropped the bouquet at the scene of the crime. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I love songs that night. We ran over and I saw the woman and I found her man. It was so shocked, I dropped the bouquet and ran into Amy. It was a dark spot of starlight, casting off like I did at first. And then you were went to the police box and the police member. Yes. And I came back to the scene with every with the with the council. And I spotted the bouquet again. That's funny, when I went to pick it up. It was no, it was nowhere near her, the victim's body at all. In case you remembering this right, the victim is not deceased. I was flustered for a moment. I heard a voice calling me from the other side of the road. Your husband, presumably. That's right, silly me. I've gone over to the wrong side of the street. Although I was going to blind the locate at time, this time. I can't think of how I got there anyway. I really can't. So the vocate somehow moved one side of the... Hmm. 
curious AD. Isn't it? Is it worse? Forget to pick up the bouquet up against the other course. Beautiful rose uh, volley picked from you with that change. And from the gutter he spent so long collecting. By bouquet. Do you perhaps mean this? Sorry, solitary rose? Oh! Yes, 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 that's it. Oh! <laughs> I guess because he lost so much flowers from it, it's just now a rose. Maybe call it a rose. Tell us more, Farsight. Where did you come by this flower? <sighs> According to the report of the police report, charge in the crime scene investigation, it was found on the edge of the pavement in front of the guard of the household. In front of the guard of the household? Although it was nothing until this morning, as I lay where, or just where, uh, cast no light. It was believed to be no relevance to the case since I found it on the outside. Therefore, thank you, thank you, right there, please. Mm. No, I think it's good measure. The rose should be added as a core evidence. Evidence. Oh. There's a symbol of our love. I want it back, but it's far out. After the vow. You hear me? I agree. Best is true. I'll show I forget what's the right. Remember here? Nothing strange, huh? You forgot about your rose? You claim the constable base there was nothing to report? In 15 minutes, you were guarding the scene? Yeah, that can't be. Oh. What? What do you mean? Okay. If your testimony was baked, you, you explain to the court. When you arrive at the scene of the crime, the policeman is signed to the peak. The bouquet you had dropped at the vendor's side was no longer anywhere nearby. Objection! Yes, on the opposite side of the bar. Where the... But, considering the size of the bar, if a single sorry bloom was described, right? no doubt it would have blown in the wind and the streets back into the gutter where it belongs. Or, Objection! But, if it were the case, why didn't the constable not testify to that fact? No one else approached the scene and, ha and, not and has not and nothing was removed from it. Constable Bates swore to the court to have the Scott and Lodge arm. But the bouquet belongs to me. It has nothing to do with the case. That's why I really didn't mention it, I swear. Right. No, because sadly it's not only your bouquet you were talking about here. More important the case is the mysterious way is the mysteriously the wrong, wrong way around. What are you talking about? Think about it. Besides Mrs. Barnes' book, okay, there's Mr. Gower's book. Mr. Gower's copy of the Lion's Pride, which was thrown out the window of Gordon's wife. What have struck the plate? I don't know what's And yet, it was actually found on the opposite side of the victim's hand. Meanwhile, according to the testimony we've heard, it's been okay. So they dropped here at the scene on the east side of the street. And in fact, it was actually on the opposite side of the road, Mr. Gravit's house. There's no logical explanation for those things. Unless somebody deliberately moved them. Why are you talking stuff like Rolly's done? Well, this is a surprise. Oh, God. Okay, uh, of course, he's back. <laughs> you might call it a nitpicky, Miss Garda. But deliberate mouthly. Lampering, <laughs> Mr. Renault. 
But the person responsible for tampering cannot admit to it. For a very subtle, compelling objection. Tampering? You barely heard that term before. Tell us, for friend, who possibly would have carried such? Yes, there's something who's tampering with the scene. All the evidence and testimony point to one particular person. Her. Is rolling. Take that. I was like, there's only one person in Gaza, man. Not so long. In your testament that your husband asked you to make a right place to spend it off. Fifteen minutes you were absent from the scene. Objection! If that were true, Constable Bates would have seen the, the, him to do it. Oh! And yeah, forgive for me pointing it out, but when you drop your bouquet, Miss Bates, it was after the defendant fled the scene. Uh, well, well... OBJECTION! First you make it... Now you're a policeman, that's all. But, uh, your accusations lack an important thing. Oh, my. You claim the crime scene was tampered with, but there was only reason to commit such a reckless crime and hide something. He's right, my husband was just there. Ow. We would have come in high, it makes sense. You are offered no motive out of the camera. And until you do, your accusations. Gospel grades, very good reason why the camera would seem that it's a key to time fair. It's hard to have you. I mean, may I solve this mystery? If you were mistaken, I went out there. He's going to put the camera in the scene. Uh, right, where the victim fell. It has to be where the victim fell. Where the victim fell on the ground. This is why the body had a What? What? Where did you mean where she was attacked? 
Uh, what are you talking about? You t we told you as I start. And the payment of the bar road, what happened to him? I said, there, if anyone would did it, anyone know. I certainly why what everybody was led to believe. In fact, there isn't where the victim was stabbed at all. What? What? Your search and then the court is dying to know. Right. Left side. Guess that's a part of his road. Take that! But that's on the opposite side of the road. I didn't see. I don't understand. On the evening of question, there's a cabinet that's both fell directly open above the window. And your mind quite uh, weren't nearly moved at all. Never moved. What did move was the scene of the crime itself. Good. Gosh, that's... Objection! Perhaps you haven't listening to the ample testimony of the right. These witnesses both saw the woman attack the place. That's right. I saw it in my own eyes. It was five o'clock in the evening, already dark, there was typical numb and fog around there. When you saw the incident unfold, Grant and ran to the victim aid. That was actually the west side of the fire Uh, no, that's true, that's true, it can't happen. Constable Bates, then arrange the UMO setup and tell them. You are away, transplant the crime scene. He moved on. Uh, the gospel will look one thing. But what do you want? The bouquet, I presume. Exactly. The prosecution told the court it hurt doesn't come as well after the discovery of the Rose Bouquet. The Lord Mosaic said it wasn't noticed until this morning as it lay steamily on the cast light. It would it couldn't have been dark, obviously. Didn't see it in the dark. Which is why the only bouquet, this is the only bouquet, was found in the original position on the pavement of the west side of the fire. And that is the defense's theory of how it really happened. How do you respond, Constable of Hates? Ah, uh, well, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to not offer him. I haven't slept in a month. But I, I did at this day the important. Well, I mean, it wasn't there. You know. I know it was because. You know. <sighs> I had a dream. A terrible dream. All the things I did that night. Everything comes out. Come out. Everything exposed. Hmm? Hmm? Only it seems it wasn't a dream at all. Good, good golly. So he really did tamper with the scene. What are? What on earth? What's the meaning of that? Oh, really? Why? Why would you do something like that? Moving corpse is a criminal offense, isn't it? Wishing the victim dead should be one, two. Touche! <laughs> Constable, explain yourself. Why would you do this? As a respected member of Squad Lot, your duty is to protect the good people of the of town. I can't say so. What? I really am very sorry about all this. For damaging Yard's reputation for everything. I think I know what it is. I have a possible explanation. Hmm? Well, why this particular evening, Constable Bates felt compelled to move the crime scene? I can think of one reason. Because the crime scene was on his part of the route. What? How would you possibly know? I 
And yet, Von Zeitz is, 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 is the foreigner who has uncovered a startling truth in the matter thus far. I believe it would be beneficial to report here as far. Counsel the defense, if you please. Yes, my lord. Now then, they think it better shows them evidence. Yes. It has to be his book, because if you think about it, um, it, um, it, it, because it's part of his route. What gives the motive for the constable pizza? Take that! It's Warren Book. I realize that I'm a foreigner design, and I have only read from Japan. Which is why all the information about London's so-called bobbies are completely new to me. I learned that through, through Honorable, patrolling the beat is the most demanding work of the world in the world, for example. Keep keeping the peace, looking after the citizens, the beat is always kind of ways. There is no doubt that the young Bobby in charge with a great deal each day, certainly. But for Constable Bait and the day in question was special. Special out on account of the most case. My lord. Oh yes. It was a very, it was our very fighting anniversary. I think Von Zeke's got where we're going with this. Constable Bates had worked hard to afford a simple gift to his wife, and was looking forward to taking her out to the horrible meal. When the mate, when he and Mrs. Bates stumbled upon the crime scene of our road. When he saw a shadowy figure of the fog, Claps on the pain. What must have been gone through the man's mind? That's uh, there's one particular I was looking forward to helping my wife and Mrs. Bates put up a I think he realizes what he did was fucked up. This is the one car for a console that is offered to me earlier. Inside amongst the rules of patrolling police that it says When a crime is discovered on his feet, policemen must assist with the initial investigation and help the detective. Ah Ah Not the beats. If that or that's not the reason why you moved the whole scene of the crime that day. Yes. Everything is it. It's alright. So that's it. It was all due to the but the boundary of the Orc B. Oh Exactly. To summarize, the incident occurred on Constable Bates beat. Good Constable, do you realize the gravity of what you've done? It was the first time since I became a copper that I, I have a cursed god. Stay close to me, Pat. The criminal is still lurking somewhere. As we ran over to the scene, I intentionally turned my place up. We got to report the station as quick as possible. But then it dawned on me. I realized that we were what we were, where the victim was lying in. in was my, was me. When the crime was discovered on his beat, a policeman will assist the initial investigation and help detectives. I think you're why here why did it happen here? I think though his wife would have understood. And why tonight of all nights? Why? Copper job to guard the guard the crime scene. So I told Pat she got to go to the nearest police box to fetch whoever's on duty there. It was then I opened my mouth to speak. Just it just came out. I couldn't believe the words that were coming from my own mouth. The next this is the next beat beat to mind, Pat. 
Right, so you'll have to go to the post office to cover it. Right, right, turn right in the Marchand Street, and then right, 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 right. you chose. Portisha out for dinner. Oh, me. Oh, just that one night. You knew that if your incident was on your beat, your evening celebration would be ruined. And you described to move the, cent the entire crime scene out of your jurisdiction. Just across the street to the eastern pavement of the road, uh, fall under the neighbor's beat. You see it? I thought. I thought the victim was dead, you see. I beg your pardon? Oh, of course he's dead. Otherwise, Molly would never have left the poor woman freezing a hole on the pavement. Uh, I mean, I see your mean now. But good God got back, got my me back for my sentencing. He, yes, he did. That's why. That's why I missed the rose I brought for our back. Oh no, Polly, that wasn't your that was all my fault. I should have never dropped it in such a dark place. I'm sorry, Polly. And can't you tell us, Constable? How many books did you find did you move from one side to the other at all? Um, oh, um, it was four, yes, uh, definitely four. There are three of them dropped by Mr. Natsuki, and the fourth dropped from the window of the guard's household, of course. But that would be placed above the book of the book in the hand. When the others were scattered, I mean, oh, well, so, so that's because that's how I found it. How you found it? What do you mean? Well, when we first ran over to the scene, the victim was already holding that book. So, when I moved everything, it was still on your hand. You sure that this book, the lion's fight that the victim was holding? Oh, uh, yes, saw. What that about saw? Hmm, interesting. shut case at the time, you see. There was only two people on the slain. Pat, me and Pat both saw it happen. However, you look at it, it had to be a fellow ran off and died, I thought. I couldn't see the harm, really. He, I didn't think moving the, over the road would make my job a lot different. I suppose this means for me now, I have not had it. Had it. Oh Lord, yes, I am on sex. I believe that concludes the cross examination of the witnesses. Uh, constable, you may withdraw. Yes, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, sir. Well, Mr. Mr. Rowley, why not? For now, you're free to go home, but police will contact you in due course. Please, don't punish on my husband. This wasn't his fault. It's because I'm always wanting for him to come home late. Leave it now, Pat. Let's go home. I'm tired. Alright then, my love. One last thing, Constable. What, sir? Let this be a lesson to you. A criminal investig in a criminal investigation, every detail matters, however insignificant it might seem to you. 
Yeah, so. Car, but that left in your mind. And never again make the mistake of tampering with privacy. Huh? Over again? Yes, no, so. Do you mean to say. Leave now. The file isn't over. It's not yet over. Huh? Huh? That's up. Well, by its startling revelation, I must say. However, the third party is transplanted a tired scene that like that. Indeed, my lord. Nevertheless, there are some immutable facts here, principally. It's the acute that the accused of sight is the only person with possible. Objection! No, I disagree. Now that we know the true scene and incident, there's something else. That person possibly not. Forgive me for believing the facade for being presumptuous, but I believe the prosecution is probably well aware of that possibility already. On my side, is this true? Yeah, very well. The name of the person, if you will, if further investigation is warranted. The prosecution has no objection to the trial continuing. Uh, name the other person who could possibly perpetrate. I want to say perpetrate, but more Take like. That. Draw another report. The defense would like to once again request a cross examination of a new witness, my lord. Once again, my assistant made the same request earlier in order to finally reveal the truth about this case. We cross in December 4, Miss John Jarrett. Oh, uh, me, me, me. Objection! That request was already been denied. Objection! But the situation is different now. Miss Garden, answer me this. Why do you need me to look? At the time of the incident, you were engaged in a violent argument with your husband, Mr. John. In the course of the argument, a minor fire was indeed smoke in the room. Your husband opened the window and along. Oh, 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 okay. You drew the book at your husband when he was cornered against the back of the window, striking the panel off the overhead to keep the pommel down. Finding its way, where the true scene went against us, 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 as I said, what of it? During the argument, you said yourself in your rage, as such, you drew not just blood, but anything you could lay your hands on. So, let me ask you one more time, Miss Gardner. That night, on remove from the victim's back, have you really never your light eyes on the Ah! I don't recall it. Seriously? I suppose I to remember everything I picked up is where my husband. Anyway, the man over there in the regalia said members of the jury didn't need to testify conveniently yet. Objection No, I have no recollection of saying that at all. The juror number four. Oh make no mistake, your jurors are not special in any way. You are not immune to judicial process. If you know something about a knight, madame, let the truth come out. I, but, as a common garden knight, it couldn't have came from anywhere. Her, it was all like at home, even if I went missing, no one would expect me to know. What's that? Are you joking? What are you saying? Please, Miss Gardab. And here we go. Now is it a thing? I refuse to believe all this nonsense. I couldn't bear the thought I would turn someone to hear. I couldn't bear it. Oh, the poor woman. Oh, yes, I want evidence. I want hard evidence if you're going to insist it's my fault. Uh, if you're going to prove me that I drew it at home, what do you think? Come on now, talk to him. Oh, well. Sonardo, if I had evidence that, believe me, I would. Uh, take, then take this tent, juror. Oh! 
The prosecution does not object to the defense request for the promise of the of this woman. Thank you, Malone Bozaiks. I am going to have to testify. Juror number four. I am sure you're appreciated and well deserved. I've observed your own eyes today. Witness testimony can lead to extraordinary truth. Unearth, meaning unearth. Truth of which the witness themselves may have not even been aware of. Oh, dear me. I demand your full, unadulterated testimony, Mr. Carter. Mark my words, in the court of law today, we will shall at least accept. That's fair. Do you concur, counsels? Certainly, my lord. Oh. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. This is such a strange film. For the first time since arriving in this country, it actually feels real. Oh. I'm here in the Old Bailey, and I am an I'm a warrior. And they state your name and occupation. Ah, oh, yes, my name is John Darda. I'm, uh, well, I am a juror of such a like. That's not like my name. She doesn't even know her health. If she's a housewife or a maid, anyone. I can't decide the testimony requires to clarify that the case. Do you understand, madame? Oh, um. You will testify to the court to take place in your household the evening in question. And I warn you, do not attempt to hide the truth. Oh, well, dear. Sure enough, Johnny. Nothing to worry about now. Oh! Then. I didn't know you were here, John. Um, wasn't the only, was, uh, the only one in the room with the whole thing, what, was it? Uh, I thought I'd testify over one. Well, you don't. <sighs> what about your knee, dear? You don't worry about it. Hardly notice it. I'm not the sort of chap to leave a comrade's face in the industrial reaction alone. Oh, John. I presume you're Mr. Jardup. John Jardup. Yes, sir. Former second lieutenant in third regiment at of the North Cumber uh, North Dumbard Land. Uh, Fressel. Fressel Lears. I can't even pronounce that. Seems my fair share of action and now living the quiet life as it were. The quiet life? Were you not engaged in an in a scenery in a scenery battle with your spouse the day of question? Uh, well yes, uh, not quite. I believe this man represents the first proud history of the British court. This may be represent calling a juror to the witness stand is unprecedented. However, the court will hear your testimony now, juror number four, and your, hus and your husband. You will recount clearly, concisely, the events of the line, and, sir, at once. Well, guess we're finishing this case today. It will start case five tomorrow, no, um, later today. Yes, only that day you're referring to my wife and I did have a skirmish. Can't recall the reason now. Knocking candlestick. You told us the reason why that earlier. Knock the candlestick over. It sat far under the carpet. I had it out though. No. No. And the window. Got the window open. Uh, meanwhile, I was picking up everything I could find in the door out. Plenty of knives around the house place. Couldn't see it. Notice one of them, two of them went missing. I'm afraid. Uh, if the valley thing fell on the victim was one of ours, you have a job to prove it. He has a point. Mm. It seems as though it's quite a battlefield in your household, Amy. Although, an entire one-sided assault, it seems. Uh, the enemy caught us on a hop, sir. 
uh, had no choice but to dig and take the defensive measures. To be honest, if the enemy had kept shelling, shelling us out for another moment, we'd been uh, toast. Uh, of course, a bad friend as myself. I'm not aware of every battlefield you think you would grant whiskers a grant moment. I don't know. Are we still talking about the mar, t mar the marital quarrel here? Well, I must say I'm dubious that this testimony will shed light on the original of this chapter. In combat, it once such as surroundings has barely noticed. These witnesses are not were not may not be able to offer any more than what they testify. This may be a dead end. Six might be well and right. Well, whatever the chances, we only have the last cause of them and uncover the truth, Mr. Nardo. Yes, I'm afraid so. Yes, sir, I believe. Yes, that's right. If I remember correctly, this all started because of a note that was stuck on a page belonging to Mr. Gavin. A rather passionate note, in fact. But Mr. Gavin found a note, note discovering her special little secret. She gave him a mighty number of, slap, of slaps across the place. What sort of solidarity affair? Ugh, a lot of it. I say, when the chap says he didn't recall such thing, it's a common scrap decency not to drag it all up. And besides, half of it what was a white mark on my face, on the face. A likely story. There's the water running very deep. And what is it transpired next after this multiple blows to the face? Knocked the candlestick on set fire of the carpet and set and it's Hold it! And the fire also spreads to the items of the furniture, didn't it? Uh, the bookcase, I'm an armchair, anything in mind really. We it just so happens there are some bath water around um, with that evening, so I just lost it to put it out. Uh, most particular situation you could put yourself in. Uh, of course, all three story. Our, it, ours is the three story townhouse on the west side of the street where the water main set isn't corrected yet. And how to draw water from the public pump during the day if you, may, if you need any easy. The lodger is always mo moaning that they can't get any water at night. Although, little, the little mustache Japanese man buys water bottles, I believe. The defendant must have not assumed me, you mean. Yes, he received a step in, in, in for his studies, you know, from his home country. Can you imagine being able to brew a pot of tea at all hours? He's obviously very well off. Have you actually seen a state of the man? Um, I believe he uses the instant income to buy books. Well, anyway, the point is, I was able to douse the fire, or water is fortunately enough. Oh, I was picking up whatever I could find a door. Even though the room was on fire? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, at the time, the more important extinguished my anger, the flame, 
than the flames, the woman drone must be shown in my sense. Oh, certainly. Not true, my sister. I was just taking. Oh, that was a hard thing. Well, how could she know I was thinking that? So please cast your mind back to the final number. What is a knife in the eye of the Drew household knife? It's all honestly, I don't recall. But I failed to point out that I'm not a monster. Let me see. A canvas garlic, towel, a sponge, but and a Jupiter. Excuse me. The yes, Aslan's answer. So got it. Uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Did your wife's remark just bring something to your mind? Nothing of any significance, no. Just a barrage of projectiles only launched in my direction. But something more solid as then she implied. Brick, books, bricks, and a fire poker. I seem to recall. Ouch! And a woman aims on candy and relic. Good week, woman. You're around at home. This is for all. Oh, dear. Sorry, dear. What's she even doing with the people out there? Honestly, oh, Don, I would never have done such names, you honestly. What do you. Well, take a look at this thing. And how do you suppose this happened then? Your pipe, sir. This has. This thing in my hand is usually at the time on, on the outside. Not to clean, and but they're soft projectiles she did, yes. When they went to pick when I went to pick it up, it broken in two. Ooh, it's broken in two. I say the sponge is sort of damaged. I see your pipe was broken. I never uh I never sent a flying have been sent it would never have been so fine if I hit something very solid. Anyway, I managed to bandage it up, up pretty now. Ah, uh, uh, you're one to exactly, aren't you? It is. It could be important. Please, Mr. Fox is now. Objection! Alright, I'm going to my words. So tell us one thing. The trailer of the Firefight and his pipe where hearts may be broken. Sound of Middle Wisdom is hardly worth some. Indeed, it's no common sense among I have one. In that case, would at least permit us to examine the pipe, sir? Hmm? Well, I don't see why not. Oh dear me. There we go again. Trying to dang it. Your wife is young late with the only one. what that pipe has. Hello! Oh, something swiggled in the pipe there. Yeah, I saw it. Yes, I saw it. Something struck it, I think. Let's turn it, the gavel. Let's turn it over. Give it a shake. What's this? A fragment of metal. It looks like the tip of a blade or something. Tip of a blade, surely it couldn't be. It looks like a very sore state of bandage around it, doesn't it? But for some reason, it feels ominous to me. It's trying to shout a warning. 
ugly out of the blue must have gotten this me. I suppose there must have been considerable sentimental value to Mr. Kendall, given that he's gone the trouble of repairing it like this. I guess he can't afford to replace it. There is a small crack in the bowl. Look, it appears there have been a relative uh, made around uh, recently. Look, and here's a little scrape and a dent uh, all over it. That's pipe. Well, well, pipe. Well, you're right. I think recently, being a well loved hand, the mouse, not the mouse, but particularly besides, is clearly new. So the blade appears to be missing. Wait, part of it is missing. Could, we, could I be wrong, but I got a feeling. You remember this? Ah, oh, that. A tiny fragment from we found inside must have got out of his pipe. Yes, and this may be. Alright, it's a perfect fit. Something, somehow, I knew it. Can you take a go go this piece? Can you ask? Listen, I can't see. You can't. Uh, you used to call me Dead Eye Deb uh, back in the regiment, but that was some time ago. Being on trying a large piece by the lock of fire. I struggle to tell from a B to a D to the P to the Q, could be wrong. So. Oh, he does, dearly, it's very, and may ask, but, the, uh, you must be D, very doozy. What is that? A tiny scrap of metal. Mm. Yes, almost certainly made from the tip of a blade. And my appears to be a giant scrap, the fat is a piece of it. Interesting. And where did the defense come by this evidence? It was lodged in the chambers of Mr. Garrow's pipe. My pipe, you say? My job. I wonder how that got there. And what precisely the fragments meant to stand up the council? Are you suggesting that this is some way related to the matter of the stabbing of Barrow? Oh, I am. What? We put together another piece of evidence in the Oregon court record. I believe this tiny fragment will now in the case, mother. Hmm. Hmm. Are you appear very confident in starting counsel? Very well then. Present the evidence of the court. What evidence does the pair of the fragment look? It's the murder weapon itself, and I mean we all do that. Case closed. A knife was found on the victim's back. If you look closely, you will notice a very small piece of the tip of the blade is missing. A common issue with an inferior blade sold in a unsavory Mount Street market. Criminals who use it them regularly to leave tip to lodge their victims in the bones. And what, but what of this particular knife? No doubt it is that it the tip has suffered a similar fate, a languishing somewhere near the spine of the. No, that's not the case. Huh? The tip of the particular knife blade is the very fragment we discovered from Mr. Chambers' pipe. Ah! Well, ah! 
Good grief, that's an on sight. I don't believe it. The knife from the sea and the scrap are a perfect match. Good, good golly gracious. Case closed. This is no magic, my lord. This is a miracle. A miracle? So Von Sykes had figured out, has he? Council, explain the extraordinary coincidence at once. Uh, yes, my lord. The crucial point we're asking ourselves here. When did the fragment of metal go away open inside Mr. Gavin's pipe? It's clearly for us and for our most recent witness, Tarsus. Had this thing in my hand had, as a usual at the time of the onslaught. Knocked it clean from the soft projectile, she did, yes. It would never have been sent flying unless it was hit by something solid. Oh, dear me. During the argument between the two occurred, the victim was on the pavement below. Mr. Gavitz flung this thing at her husband. However, a knife must have missed Mr. Garvin instead of striking his pipe at the hand, it, which caused the tip to break off, of course. Good lord. And that's why the tiny tip of the blade found its way back inside Mr. Garvin. The chances of that are a million to one. And yet, there is no credible explanation how the tip of the blade ended in your pipe. Then, after losing its tip, the knife wrenched it off the pipe and flew out in an open window. Uh, it was an accident! In short, the knife which fell onto the victim's window and scarred his house. It's the very same knife that struck the victim in the middle of the back and the street below. Oh gosh, oh dear, uh oh. Uh, it, was an, it was an accident. full-blooded theory, I'll give you that. Huh? A complex bouquet, a suddenly trivial point, possible arrange can't to create an almost possible uh, vintage. Allow me to toast my friend, Caroline. Sorry? After all, it's just a theory well, fear, of course. Because, you see, It's <sighs> Oh boy. I don't know it's like explain yourself. What and consistency is simple as my lord. The victim was found with an eye plane in the middle of her back. As Consider the facts of the case once more. Then was walking on the pavement is down. There's no possible way that could plant itself on the victim's back. Ah. There is something. Just caught or just got off our bat 
your mind was on it. If the path of the key correct, you'll win. So, no, the key is important to us. Uh -huh. It seems you have nothing to say, right? This inconsistency doesn't mean that I was wrong. A trap on um, track. It means I need to sharpen my mind to dig deeper to the truth. Yes. It, if the knife fell on the victim, there are no way the foot hit her on the back. Under normal circumstances, that is. What are you trying? Counsel, if the piece of evidence and the court records examine explains an inconsistency, then that could possibly the knife fell the victim's back. We've already have the half of the goodness, utter madness. Fine. Counsel, present the evidence you speak. This is the last inconsistency. Final piece of the puzzle. This actually makes sense of this. The truth will barely. That explains how the fallen knife is. Take that! The book itself. This, the fourth book found in the scene. I mean, it's final piece of evidence. Was... What? The burnt book? Is that. Yes, and understand significance, we have to how we come to be in the first place. This print is clear shows the book in question. The victim was holding it in her hand. But we already knew it was the police constable who put the book between her fingers like that. But quite so, apart from the homeless transplant of God. That's true, however, part of his testimony cost my baits. A slightly lightning statement to the point on that point. But what made you place the book in the victim's hand? Uh, so that's because that's how we found how I found it. Where I first ran over to the scene. The victim I was already holding the book. So when I moved everything, and I made sure it was still in her hand. In other words, the victim I already picked up the book, uh, of her own violation. It clearly must have been before it suffered a knife fall. Well, so. I see. So the question becomes why did the victim have the book in her hand? I. Why, Jingle? I think I'm beginning to see why it's happening now. Oh, there are We know the book fell from the top floor of the government house over the pavement below. A precise moment, a precise moment, the, moment, the victim was walking past. Yes, exactly the moment. The young woman was walking along the streets along the fog. All of a sudden, the book fell right in front of her. The book I threw. Mrs. Cosmos got up. What do you think of the book the woman did? What do you think you were... And suddenly a book fell in front of you as a payment. Oh, I really can't imagine it, but I suppose she might have reached down. There we go, and picked it up. There we go. See, that's, that's exactly what the woman did. She picked up the book. Oh, oh, and when the woman reached down to pick up the book, that's a possibility that position on her back would have been. That's right, facing the sky completely and utterly defenseless. And at the very next moment, I'm breaking up the book. The next object that fell from above there was a jack knife straight in the middle of her back. And at the same time, my mind chance to Mr. Green, Mr. Green was a defendant of a sinner's Why Well, I never. I. Oh, it appeared to Mr. Yosaki that the woman was simply collapsed on the floor in a dark box. He hadn't seen the knife falling on the floor. Uh, and 
from the other direction. The constable and his wife saw not no one but the victim and apparently the there were never the real culprit ran uh, to run from the scene in the first place. No, this was nothing more than a series of unlikely encounter. And that is the real truth behind this case. Case closed. <sighs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Garda. Oh. It was an accident, like the last case. Tell me that night I have my suspicions. I wonder if perhaps it might have been something like that. There, there, old me. Poor Mrs. Garab. Garab. his knee and she's on his knee too oh ouch that had to hurt that had to hurt what about six what's the news of mrs garda she's being taken to the infirmary it would appear that today's events have left her in a similar flustered state. However, I believe she will recover in due course. There is no cause for concern. Yes, um, announced to themselves, as they caused what easily could have been a terrible tragedy. They shall be prepared themselves for the consequences of their action. There is some good news, however, my lord. She survived! I just happen to have a word from the officer victim was treated. Her condition is improving steadily, and the doctor believes she can regain contact soon. It's strange. We've been talking about the victim all the time, but we never once met her. Well, how wonderful. The woman's out of danger, it seems. Yes, that's good news. Hello, oh, Mr. Sosaki. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yes. On behalf of my fellow countrymen, I would like to take the opportunity to make your pardon. And, sir, you came from the distant eastern homeland just to study all great British culture and have been repaid the immense will on my kindness. Please accept our apologies. No, it's me who should be begging your pardon. Oh no, Mr. Nasumi. It mean when a young woman just claps on the pavement that my eyes. I jumped to the wrong conclusion again and my confusion what conclusion, sir? I was sure that the woman was dead. Yes, a constable Ray said the same thing, didn't he? He thought she she had been killed too. I so thought she must have looked completely lifeless. over a year since I arrived in Great Britain, but I still can't use get used to life here. I can't relax. I'm sure there are evil spirits looking in the fog. Of course it's on the sun. He's imagining the real nice man really got to him. Yes, poor man. So when it happened, I thought the young woman would have been taken by the foggy spirits. I would never have bought my book and run away. I should have called for help or doctor or something. I said I managed to create a rift in the relationship between the two empires. And for that, I'm truly sorry. One could indeed say that the same for the mysterious spirits have been working at work here in 
one that created a chain of force and press out. Were, were we befolded by the spirits or led to a false conclusion? But thanks to modern psychic and young warrior there for me, that chain has been broken and the spirits exist. I have to commend you both. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that is my lord. In concluding this show, I ask one last time to attention to girls and I'm ready to present your finance report. As foreman of the jury, I can assure you we reached a fair conclusion. That's conclusion. I do declare the truth that it's certainly cruel at times. Well, all oh, a woman, I don't expect to be here for the for her. Same for the home being she's a new no. I say, I'm having the Gorker story tell the grand. <laughs> and everybody, very well, ladies and gentlemen, the jury, I have right to demand your final decision. Farm. Not guilty. 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 Very well, Mrs. Anderson. I have pronounced you not guilty. Case closed. And this, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the fourth case. Case. Oh. And finally, Mr. Nasumi. Oh, yes, my lord, sir. You are now a free map once more. I hope you continue for your education and culture. And may you never again. And we brought before me. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. Oh, no, I swear I'll never sit for in this corner of my life. I'm 42 years. <laughs> God, I love this guy. <laughs> What is it earned? Oh, that was a case and a half. I do feel bad for the wife, though. I mean, it was. Oh, you have to admit that was a bad uh, time. Oh. Wait, you me? Of course. Is there no? Oh. Is there ever one? Even one? Compared to the original. Here. <laughs> What's wrong with this using the actual name? Oh, I'm free. 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 Oh, please. Oh, I'm please. Mr. Mouse, I made the light. But it'd be so hard just to say that name. Oh, did you get it? Is that me? I'm the freak. What happened to the poor woman? Well, what happened to the poor woman was in no way your fault at all. I was glad everyone can see that now. Oh, boy. Yes. I need my Oh, boy. Yes. I said it I never got used to the life here in Great Britain. Every time I look over my shoulder, I see foreigners. I see towering brick buildings. And higher up windows, I was looking down on me, laughing. I'm not gonna say that. Oh dear, I'm sure it's all your But today you gave me the wound uh, to boot. You stuck my firm, uh, Ronald Branch before the uh, bobbing the wreckage. And you found us the very end. Laying bare the, the back the, the baffling truth. When I beheld the binding blinding fireworks amongst the ring of a roof I fallen. Behold the best part of the forever That's very well flattering, and I'm very really pleased for you. This has given me a wonderful accountable uh, uh, candidate to recount my old friend back in the winter. Ah, and I think an anecdote. And that's what becomes of my hard work. Ah, there you are, my dear fellows. 
I apologize for keeping you waiting. I was late really this morning. Oh, Mr. Sonos, what a pleasure to see you. I'm also here at the moment too soon. A disaster has been averted, and I'm glad to say. Oh. The trial shall be beyond the sight, Lady Miss. That's not the Spanish, it's just me. Why, no, that might have to be. Ah, it's you. Hello, oh, Sonos. Ah, ah, it's the master really the man you have arrested, Mr. Solomon. Ah, I see. I recognize you first. Our previous encounter had taken place in the gloom. Either you leave your lodging or your presence at Ah, I simply can't play the curious face of me. Charming! It's, it's all your fault, Mr. Solomon. You're the reason why I had to go through all this terrible ordeal. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. Oh, I apologize, sir, but I assure you, I have placed, have placed, have placed you now. You're, you're a fellow who abandoned, who abandoned the poor young lady and ran off for you. Uh, had she been taken to the hospital urgently, I feel perhaps she would have regained consciousness by now. Oh, but it was unavoidable, I'm sure. But we are human after all. Anyone could have been shaken that by such an experience. I did you feel so bad for how I behaved? Well, never mind then. Now then, what was it you wanted to say to me, Chuck? That's <sighs> oh, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, but. That's quite a priceless. Poor Sasaki-san. So, one on the bright side, he had an extremely entertaining experience without paying a penny. And it was seen you were not even found guilty. But there's, there's no bright side. Whatever you mean, Mr. Natsumi. Even after this, I'm... I'm still cursed by the spirits, and I don't know whether. Um, I'm forgetting you know that what I'm facing the part means. Even if I'm not found it, is there still doom? It, it will be all right, Mister Nelson. The Reaper appears to try to make trying to make trouble. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the verbally not scared of that. <laughs> Why does I like to be turned on my head? A bit of warning might have been the next time, Mrs. Taco. <laughs> That's one way in the end of the case. <laughs> so, Mr. Nosumi, what do you intend to do now? My my, you mentioned about recounting your experience with your friends back in Japan. Yes, I intend to return to my homeland soon. Oh! It has already been a year since I arrived here in Great Britain. I visited the university libraries, bookshops. I've been honored to tutelage like, of the prof professors. And I've learned much about the well lecture here of the same state. And I came to realize my calling, that is my calling to sell home, to tell my fellow countrymen about it. That's very touching, Mr. Nelson. Or perhaps less veiled terms. He was to withdraw halfway around the world to escape the terror of the Reaper. That's not at all. At all. The more I learn about literature, the more strange feeling claws inside me. I feel compelled to return my roots and attempt my pen at work of my own work. Oh, I see. A work of literature by Sasaki Sen. Could it be interesting to read? And what about Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sato and yourself, Mr. Naruto? Hori, what about us? Well, you returned to the panel, I'm sorry. Why, why would we? we? A week has not been passed since we arrived in, in London. And now it does feel like we're finally on our feet. And your accommodation in a hotel at present, are we not? 
That's right, but we need to find a lodging before it bankrupts us. I calculated we can afford it ten nights before we budget a job. Well then, we could take my lodging. Oh, that windowless room. Ah oh, yes, but if it lacks windows, there's more makeup for the room, ceiling, and walls. Great. And of course, it happened to I have a lady with Thirsty. Oh, my, and he wants beer. Oh, yes. I tried to suffocate. It tries to scuff me. It's a cat. Oh, think about it. We'll think about it. It's over the other one. That's why I can offer more welcome to Why don't you consider taking lodging with me? Oh, really? Well, I think you can see he has conveniently presented himself. So, it's up in the attic, I might add. Are you sure it's an out just a storage lot? I spoke with the landlady this very morning on the matter of the price. And ours is cleaning room, ours is cleaning the room as we speak. You might come up once, I presume you have no lodging to speak. Oh, this is simply wonderful. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm too overwhelmed with other words. So, it's just saying look elsewhere is out of it and without the men. Then it's settled. I will welcome dinner and bring me. He must come, it's not nice him. I, I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, yes. Wonderful. Then let's go complete the paperwork, get a formal release. This doesn't take long. Somebody's happy. <laughs> I truly the light. Oh my god, guy, can you stop the pop the uh, the puppy dog guys? Uh, hey, please. Is you're even making me um tear up. I am truly delighted to have you here in London. As you're in London. Likewise, my son to me. I've been privileged of meeting you too. It's a shame we're going to have to say goodbye soon. So soon. Well, I've come to realize that I belong in a band. Well, um, we will meet again one day, I'm sure. And hopefully by then, it's a sex, I'll be a successful lawyer. Hopefully by then, I'll be a successful author. Huh. Well, my dear fellow, our, our characters have only arrived. Shall we go, Ms. Nardo? Yes, Mr. Thomas. I have little doubt Mr. Nostomi will be released in time for dinner. He will, he will. And so, what's the, what's the talk of sons in a sense essentially established? We rode with Mr. Thomas to what became of the 20, um, of 21 feet per seat. Oh, more? Oh, hello. The attic room. Wow. So this is really our new office, yes. Our office. I rather really sound I rather really like the sound of that. Me too, it's simply wonderful, isn't it? I hope you can see this because I want it's only a small step. But I like to think we're getting a little closer to your dream now. So my dear fellows, do you like the place? Of course. Ah, ah, Mr. Solmes. Oh, yes, thank you so much. And yeah, I go around, Mr. Solmes. It's still down the door. Ah, it's my pleasure to hear it. Iris and I would like to welcome you. I hope everyone's hungry. It's nearly dinner time. We'll eat as soon as Mr. Masumi arrives. We'll have to celebrate. Iris, we want to let me help you. Alright then, Susie. <laughs> we'll have to this down. One day. Speaking of Mr. Nozomi. So, Mr. Naruto, how do you feel? Have your own office in the capital. It's very exciting, actually. I can't help but wonder what adventure we're waiting <laughs> There's precisely my settlement when I first established my office on, 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 on these premises. Until I discovered a dark truth about the city of London, that is. Sorry? 
London is a glorious place full of wonders and opportunities and hurt. But bright as a light, as bright as a light, cast the darkest shadow. The darkest of shadows. Shadows, what do you mean? Well, I believe you're aware of the murkiness that lies behind the, um, the lens facade already. You mean the police force. So, once again, Mr. Naruto. London. He ain't wrong about that last statement. Of course, at the time, I had no idea what significance those words from Mr. Songs from Catholic spoke, but it was long before my turn came, came to lift the facade. I see and see the death, two death of Lord blinded. And that's one way of ending the case. And landlord landed in London trophy. Well guys, what a case. Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie, um, Fourth cases are hit or miss with me um, throughout the series. Um, but I gotta say, this was a really um, sad case, I gotta say. Um, yeah, the um, I do feel bad because it was just an accident. And that could have could have just been avoided if he just um, went and got the police or something. Because I think they would not have believed, they would not have pointed that out to him. Um, but it was just an accident. But I gotta say, um, getting to have to do a court jury examination twice? That was really something I didn't expect, to be honest. As I was like seeking suspicions from the beginning, but I just really couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, this is a really good case. Not sure about all the consistent, um, the consistent, uh, or everybody else thinks about it. Um, but it was fun. Uh, I really can't have much to say, but that last statement, um, what he said, pretty much gave me, um, about the, um, the dark murky stuff and the dark secret, really has me suspicious about what's gonna happen in the next case. The final case of S. Attorney Investigation, um, Great Death Detective, um, Chronicles 1. Uh, the, un the events were on the unspeakable story. The hound is the hound of the Bakers of the Bakersfield of Bakersfields. Basker Basker Oh boy. And from what I heard, this is gonna be a pretty long case. Peace. Um with that said. A little bit later, we'll start this case off next. And with that said, I'm Gunnels 3 I'll catch you guys in a little bit later. See you next time.